Hello, my friends. Let's take a look at how to do a self-loop test with an Ethernet tester. As we know, the popular standards for testing the performance of Ethernet are IFC 2544 or Y1564. And when we use an Ethernet tester to perform an analysis of our network, usually we will do a self-loop test to check whether the tester works normally. Next, I will show you the operation steps. Take this Ethernet tester on my hand, for example, which has a GE optical port and electrical port. Also, I have an optical patch cord and a self-made RJ45 plug. For this plug, we can see I connect its pins 1 and 3, 2 and 6 together so as to achieve the self-loop function. OK, let's look at the tester. Firstly, we need to set up the interface The most important step is to set port mode. Since I will insert my self-loop RJ45 plug into the electrical port later, so the port mode of electrical port should be set to forced instead of auto-negotiate. Otherwise, the tester cannot distinguish the self-loop plug and after port mode is selected, the interface speed will be reduced to 100 mega, shown as the first mode. Now it is 100 mega full duplex. So, my 100 mega RJ45 plug with two cables pairs is enough. And for the setup of SFP optical port, setting port mode to auto negotiate will be OK. Other settings like Mac. VLAN, an IP address, etc. just default. Now I will plug in both electrical port and the optical port. we can see that the link has been established. Next, I will set a traffic generating task for the tester. Add a new test and select generator. Then enter its settings. We can customize test duration, payload, frame size, and other information of the traffic stream. Because I will do a self-loop test, there's no need to set the source address and destination address. OK, start test. We can see the data transmitting 
and receiving of electric port A and optical port B are good. This is port A electrical 100 mega throughput and port B for optical 100 throughput and if necessary we can insert arrows or alarms manually and observe whether they can be received. In addition, after we finish the self-loop test, remember to restore the port mode of the electrical port to auto-negotiate. That's all. Welcome following Grand Away and getting more information of optical communication and equipments. Thank you.